Beckers here and today I have another video for you guys. I'm going to show you how to detangle little kids hair because I know a lot of people, maybe a lot of mixed parents who have trouble detangling little kids hair um, because it just gets so matted in the back and it may be so long or they just don't know how to deal with it because it's different from theirs. So today I'm going to show you guys and as my model I'm going to be using my little sisters, my little sisters Olivia and she's so cute. And she's going to come over here and I'm going to help her detangle her hair and give you guys a few tips and tricks on how to do it. So keep watching. Okay guys, so this is my little sister, Olivia. Say hi, Olivia. And what she likes to do is detangle her hair in the shower and then put it in these um, two braids. She just woke up and this is her second day hair. Um, it really keeps everything... Um, detangled while she sleeps because usually when you sleep you move around and just knots happen. Knots happen with curly hair. It's a fact. And but when you untangle it from the braids um, it's detangled and a little bit easier to manage. That's tip number one for any parents out there or anyone dealing with this type of this hair texture. So what we're gonna do now is tackle the big hair. We're gonna tackle this thing. So what do you do when you wake up and your hair looks like this? Um, don't get scared. Don't want to cut it short. Don't want to straighten it. Cause there's ways to deal with it. All you're really gonna need, really gonna need is a spray bottle. You're gonna mix it with warm water about up to here. And then you're gonna add some conditioner. What my little sister likes to use is this Aussie Moist. Always try to get moistening conditioners. Don't do like volumizing because that really strips your hair. Um, and conditioner is going to become your BFF. So you're going to put it in your handy dandy spray bottle. You're going to mix it up and then you're going to start to spritz the hair. Another thing you can use is coconut oil or any other type of oil. Like if you're the looser the curl, the lighter the oil. So you can use like a light coconut oil, maybe olive oil and a little bit of it. Or if your hair is thicker and more coarse, you can use like a shea of butter, um, something more hydrating. Um, so that's one little tip. Um, my sister, what we like to use on her is coconut oil. So what I'm going to do is take all this beautiful hair and part it. Parting and making, putting into sections um, really helps. Makes it a lot easier to handle it. So what I like to do is start bottom to top. I do this with my own hair too, bottom to top. Another tip, put a towel underneath them so they really don't get all wet and soaking. And try to keep the spray bottle away from their face. That usually helps so you don't get all cranky. So I'm just going to spray. And make sure the water is warm because it's a lot more comfortable than cold droplets hitting you. Just imagine like when someone's putting sunscreen or lotion or you're going to get a massage or something and they just pour the cold lotion straight on your back and it's like, oh, it gives you chills. Same, it's the same concept with this. So you want to use warm water or hot water. So you want it to be super wet, super wet. You will always want to work with curly hair when it's wet. Never try to brush through it dry. This is the finished product. I just did a little French braid and I put a little uh, hair tie at the end. Um, what you can do 
is take some gel. It doesn't really matter which kind of gel. I'm just using the Garnier for Teeth Curl Scrunch Gel, extra strong hold. Put a little bit in your hands like this, and just so that little that your ends don't get frizzy or your roots don't get frizzy, just add a little bit to the sides like that. I am not the best French braider, but I do know how to French braid. And so just to add a little pizzazz to the hairstyle, I just added this cute little Liga right here. It's like a little bow. You guys get you guys can get this at Forever 21 or like wherever they sell this kind of stuff, hair, hair supplies and stuff. And then so you don't have to hide your all your curls. What you can do is leave the end curly. You can brush through it with your fingers, which will add some volume and some um, um, volume um, and mass. I guess you can say make it bigger once it dries. It'll be like a cute little puff ball. And you just scrunch it with the gel, squeeze the gel into the braid, and voila. Thumbs up this video. As a little clap to my sister for being the model here. Um, if you guys would like more of these videos, comment, let me know what you like, what you don't like. And all right, friends, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Well, crazy hen, you don't know how to deal with it. <laughs>